Hi guys, I uh, just want to talk about doing stuff that you want to do and achieving your dreams you want to do. Um, the way society is geared up, and especially online, it's, it's about dragging things down, it's not about building things up. Um, you need to focus on setting the goals and a keeping to them, but sometimes it's better to keep stuff to yourself. Um, the reason being is you'll find a lot of people will talk you out of things, but far fewer will actually promote or support and help you achieve those goals. You know, bad advice is easy to find. Good advice, um, a little bit harder. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd bring this up today because although uh, things are moving along here in the UK, um, I do see some of the stuff that's going on relating to some of the other channels and there's still certain things going on with certain people you're thinking enough's enough you know there is better things to be doing with your time um, I mean I, I've seen the the state of an expat that I, I, I've got to be honest my concern over him is his actual health the guy's a mess um, and I can understand this guy will not let things drop. It just seems like a pattern in his life. Um, that is the way he is. And he, he will never change. And when you have those types of negative people around, they are not helping you. They're trying to suck you into their misery. And that's what I'm saying. Don't even get these guys involved in what you're doing. Um, if you, a lot of them rely on reactions. A lot of them want to argue with you. A lot of them need to have somebody to argue with. They need to create conflict in their life. Often it's about stuff that's in their past or whatever, but rather than face their demons, they project hate, etc., onto something else. Um, move away from it. Just go, okay. <laughs> That's your opinion and talk to it. Do whatever. Delete, block, ban, gone. Boom. Move on. Um, I mean, it's like now, I mean, I've spent, me and Jay talk a fair bit for a real deal. I mean, we talk daily uh, most of the time. Um, we've hit on a few, a few things recently and they're starting to work. We've also um, been talking to Wayne out in the US is looking to come over to Spain as well. Um, same thing, you know, we're, we're hitting on an idea, we're trying to work it out at the moment, that's got, got huge potential in it. Chris and Mark relating to the English teaching, same thing. All these things are positive people finding positive routes to get on in life, to get what they want, to get where, where they want to be, what they want to achieve. Um, and that's a big difference because the thing is, you can often have common goals and common goals, uh, sorry, common goals and common things that you want to achieve. Because um, the goals might be different in the sense that uh, may want to get to live in Spain, but you may be working on two different things. So although the, the overall you both want to be in Spain, what the actual goal is, is could be one person wants independence, but the other person needs to speak more for Spanish, for example, because that's that's my main thing. Uh, because the independence comes through my Spanish language. Um, so you can have two different things that overlap, even if they're not even remotely related. Um, for example, there's some people I talk to that we have no connection besides the fact that we've just bumped into each other online. Um, a friend of mine in India, Nimesh, for example, we just talk about general stuff. Now, he, he's, he's doing pretty well in India relating to the solar industry. Um, the fact that we overlap and it just gives you, I wouldn't say events, but just having something constructive where you can sit and talk ideas through and see things from different people's perspectives and angles. These are the important bits. Because even though you, you're not trying, you know, I'm not setting up in India 
uh, at the same time he's not going to Spain or whatever we're just friends so but at the same time because it's all about positive um, attributes and moving life forward and doing what we want to achieve it's worthwhile now that's what I'm talking about don't get dragged into the negative stuff you you'll have times that kick you in the teeth you'll have times where things are going great and then it just seems to go off a cliff edge at the same time remember you can always dust yourself off if you can get some good friends around you that can support you in the hard times and you support them in the hard times even better that's it um i mean this year we've had quite a rough start let's be honest i mean we've we've lost two um major relatives in our family so it's a difficult start, but it doesn't mean we're giving up. It doesn't mean we're negative. It doesn't seem it's, we're not sitting and whining about it. The fact is, we're looking at, we took a couple of hits. We took um, some financial expenses. At the same time, it's more important to be there for the people. You know, it's more important to um, carry on. There's other people that rely on you. So that's the positive stuff. Don't get tie down with all the negativity of it all you've got to turn around and focus on the positive stuff you've got to bring things forward not back you've got to look after each other you've got to project things forward for others as well so the main thing is never lose sight of where you want to be never lose sight of what you want to achieve and the most important thing of all don't let other people drag you into their miserable lives and I do say miserable lives because a lot of time it is. Because if they were happy, they would support you. Um, now, I can understand sometimes, people, like with the Philippines, people get a bit panicked that you're going over there. Um, in all honesty, I think the Philippines give somebody a better insight to life. I really do. I think people that have lived in a comfort zone for long periods of time doesn't do them any favors. I think the Philippines opens their view to the world and it's something that some of these guys get negative, negativity about. Because why should you be able to do it when they failed at it? And it is, they failed. Now, there's a difference here. I'm not saying they're failures. I'm saying they failed at it. The reason I stress that is if you're a positive or a motivated person, you understand where you made your mistakes. You sit there and go, I got that wrong. Um, I'll take that on board and I'm not going to do the same prob problems and mistakes again. But you get back up, dust yourself off, and you go forward to reaching that goal. Um, I mean, this is the funny thing with this channel. It doesn't matter what I do, I'll see me head out back in the Philippines because that's where m most of my uh, subscribers come from. Um, but it's the same with Spain. You may want to move to Spain, go there spend six months there, run out of money, come back to the UK. You've come back with knowledge. you come back with experience. You know where you failed. You know what you didn't know <laughs> when you first went. You understand the situation better. You've got a better perspective. You've got a better understanding of what you need to do. Now, that is the bit you need to take on board. It, don't sit there complaining to other expats that it's their fault that you didn't do do very well. You didn't do very well because you didn't do very well. End of. What you need to turn around and do is instead of complaining or trying to deflect it onto other people, sit there and go, okay, guys, I need to sort myself out. I had problems. You know, if a business went bankrupt, for example, because somebody's wife sold all the um, ran up debts on it, for example. Um, or the business was sold by the wife. And that has happened to several people. And I know it has. They, they, some of them don't even want to admit it. But the thing with me is, if it happened to me, I would admit it. it life throws you some of this stuff. You've got to be the, the bigger, bigger person and just say, it happened. That's life. Move on. Um, but... The first thing, this is, this gets back to this very negative person that resides in the Philippines. And, um, unless you can admit you have 
problems yourself and have things go wrong for yourself and you'll never progress you can't progress if you can never admit that you're you're making mistakes making problems and stuff like that um kind of myself i've been quite aggressive with people in the past but the difference is i message them and i apologize for what i've done um if i'm in the wrong that's it <laughs> um but that's 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 what you should do. First part of this is actually understanding if you're in the wrong, then just admit it, move on with it. Um, yeah, it's important. But if you want to reach your goals, you need to accept these things. You want to move to the Philippines, accept where you went wrong last time and learn from it. Learn from other people's experience. Learn from other people's knowledge. Don't assume you know everything. I mean, I work in asset management. I've done for the, for the last decade. Do I know everything? The answer is no. The answer is no. Um, it's, it's why I'll say that I'm developing things. I mean, with Wayne, we're talking about it at the moment because for what we want to do with software, I've got to sit and work a strategy out for it because I've got to understand everything inside that venture, um, not just the bits I've worked with, but like help desk support and other bits and pieces I don't normally get involved in. Um, that revolves around me understanding what other people do. I don't have all the solutions. The thing is the ability to listen instead of speak. Um, and that's why it's important. If you want to achieve things in life, listen rather than speak. Half the time you're better off listening to what other people have done, experienced, seen, and then ask some questions. Um, it's a bit like when you see some of this stuff where people run people down because they've had something go wrong in the Philippines. Some people make stupid mistakes. I do. It's every now and again, something will happen. It's just you're just thinking, oh, I made an idiot myself, whatever. But that's life. I hold my hands up to it. Um, but the thing is, the people that do this stuff, they know it, or or they're sharing it with you. They don't need you going, you're an idiot, and all this sort of stuff. Why would you want to do that? They've had a negative experience. I can understand with some of these guys getting relationships they shouldn't do, but at the same time, they've learned their lesson. Even if they're sitting on the internet whining about it, they learned their lesson. The important lesson here is they shared it um, because that knowledge becomes experience for others to, to absorb look at it and go, well, it's the guy's fault, or it's the woman's fault, but the guy doesn't need somebody bad-mouthing him on YouTube or whatever. It's not going to help the situation. Um, you know, it's like they say with opinions and buttholes. That's it. <laughs> everybody has one. Just that you don't always have to show it, and not everybody has to hear it. Um, and I'm, I'm just saying, just, you know, guys, Try to be more upbeat sometimes. I know a lot of you guys are. I really do. But I, I do think that there is some people out there that would be better off trying to be more positive with stuff. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I, I'm going to sit and do some videos on some of my other channels today. And this, by the way, is the MacBook Air. So you can actually compare my video quality and audio quality because none of my external stuff's set up. This is the first video made with this MacBook Air. Um, but anyway, guys, have a fantastic weekend, a few hours this Monday, uh, I've got a big mon meeting Monday, uh, that'll be interesting, but see the thing with that, even this, I know Monday's going to be a horrible meeting, but at the same time, the positive is I've got six weeks left in this contract. I need this meeting to go well on Monday because it, I'm selling that six weeks because if these guys mess me around. I'm gone in the six weeks. That's it. Um, I'm going home. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy.